Hi beauties, today I'm going to be doing a full acne coverage foundation routine. This is going to be my first video, so I hope you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, first we're going to be starting off with the Photo Loving Primer by NYX, and then we're also going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. First, I use the NYX Photo Loving Primer because it also gives you that poreless finish. It makes your foundation and your concealer as well as your highlight and contour go on smoothly. Now I'm just applying the NYX all over, rubbing it in, make sure I get it all over, rubbing it in as if it was lotion or moisturizer. And then I'm going to be putting the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing on my forehead and my cheek areas as well. I want to make sure that I'm getting the Step 1 all over my cheek areas mainly because that's where I have my bumps and my hyperpigmentation dark marks as well as dark spots. Then next I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer and I'm going to be applying it all over my redness areas on my cheeks and anywhere that needs that extra coverage before I put my foundation on. So I'm just going to be taking a flat elf brush we're going to be lightly dabbing the concealer on. You want to tap, you don't want to swipe it because then you will just be wiping off rather than building up. So we're going to be applying it in a tapping motion all over the areas that need the extra coverage. So as you can see, I have a lot of redness, so I'll be tapping a lot. <laughs> but hey, do what you gotta do. They say less is more, I say no more is more. And I know a lot of you are going to be saying, you know, well you have acne, are you sure you want to be putting all that on your face, da da da. Okay, I had acne before I even started wearing makeup, so that's not the reason. If I choose to cover it up, then that's what I choose to do. Now I don't wear makeup a lot, I mean I might wear it on the weekends if I go somewhere or I just want to, you know, get cute. But other than that, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. So I'm also thinking about doing like a skincare journey, you know, just to find something that works for me. I know I've been trying. I have literally tried like everything. I've tried stuff at the drugstore. I went to dermatologists. I have ordered stuff offline. Um, tried eating healthy, drinking water, <laughs> like everything. But... I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep looking until I find something and hopefully it'll work for you guys as well because I know it's very frustrating. Now I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender and then I'm just going to be smoothing out the concealer. That way whenever I put my foundation on it doesn't look like there's spots underneath it from the concealer. As you can see, I didn't really worry about putting the concealer under my eyes just because I'm going to put my foundation on and then the foundation would have covered up the highlight whenever I do my under eyes. So I like to do that after I put my foundation on. But by all means, do whatever you like. I mean, your face, your makeup, whatever makes you happy. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit more um, on the red areas that was still peeping through, just tapping it on there lightly. Also, <laughs> please don't mind the way I was looking. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I just wanted to hurry up and get the video recorded and done and over with. So please don't mind my hair and the dark circles. I mean, I already have them, but still, they're even worse because I was sleeping. Next, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color 106. Y'all, I love this foundation and it's so cheap compared to my Kat Von D foundation that I get from Sephora. This one is like, I think $10 and the Kat Von D is like $40. So yeah, just depending on what you choose. I mean, I'm going to go with the cheaper one. And then next I'm going to be using the Pro Dome Stippling Brush 41 from Sephora. And so that's what I'm going to be using just to apply my foundation. And I'm going to be using it in a tapping motion just as I had did with the concealer. You don't want to swipe because you're going to be swiping it off. You want to dab it on there as well as make sure you're blending it all out. 
And I also decided to make this video on one of the days where my acne was pretty bad and it had flared up. Just so you could see it at its worst and how you can still get the coverage. Now I'm just going to be going back in kind of like a spot treatment with the foundation and just lightly tapping it on there and just trying to blend it out with my finger rather than a brush so that way it's keeping all of the foundation on the skin rather than it being on the brush as well. Now I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color GC973 Creamy Beige. And this is what I'm going to be using to highlight as well as cover up the dark circles under the eyes. Also with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I like to put a little bit under my nose just because I get redness around there and then I'm going to highlight my chin, my forehead and then also where my contour is going to be a little bit underneath that just because it'll clean it up and as well as brighten it. Also adding the LA Girl Pro underneath the eyes and a little bit on the cheeks, it also helps with coverage as well. So. I would definitely do this step just because it will add more coverage if you need it. Then I'm going to be getting my same beauty blender and blending out everything just so it blends in with your foundation and you don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to be dipping my Beauty Blender in my Airspun Loose Face Powder that you can get from Walgreens, you can get it from H-E-B, any kind of drugstore basically. And I'm just going to be patting it under the eye so that my concealer under the eye doesn't crease. Next I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix in the color NC30, the pressed powder, and I'm going to use a powder brush and I'm going to use this all over the face just to set the foundation. So you also want to tap that on there just to set everything. Also on the video it looks like my foundation is lighter than the rest of my body, I promise you it matches me, it's just my vanity lights. 
after setting your foundation, then that's whenever you would go on and do your eyebrows, contour, highlight, all of that. Whenever I come back on, I will already have all of that done. But if you would like for me to make a video on how to contour, highlight, or an eyeshadow tutorial, or anything like that, then just go ahead and let me know. And I will most definitely do that for y'all. And right now I'm just going to be adding some spray just to set it. And that's it.